good morning. I was trying to see if I could get some light on my camera for recording. It seems so dark. I know it's still kind of, um, I mean, the sun's just coming up, but anyway, here I am on my way to work. It is um, Thursday morning and beautiful sunset, I mean sunset, sunrise this morning. Um, I got a chance to see a little bit of it as I was getting ready for work. Um, so I wanted to hop on here real quick to talk to you about fear of rejection. I know we talked a little bit about fear yesterday, but a um, fear of rejection is um, sometimes it blocks us from um, living our best life or living our, um, you know, our authentic life. Uh, so, a couple of suggestions that I have. Um, one of the things is that um, self-rejection or feeling a fear of rejection is a self-fulfilling prophecy. In other words, if you're just, you know, it changes the way we behave, the way we think, the way we behave. And if you feel that you're going to be judged or rejected by other people, it will affect how you behave. And people are not going to want to be around people. They're going to reject people that are, you know, depressed or anxious or, you know, um, unpleasant to be around. So you kind of, like I say, a self-fulfilling pro uh, prophecy where, you know, you're, you're projecting um, already that there's going to be rejection and you get rejected because of the way you're, you're acting. Another thing too, along those lines is fake it to make it right. So envision yourself as confident, envision yourself as not really caring what other people think, right? Or their opinions of you. Um, a lot of times what I was told uh, I was suggested years ago and a lot of times what I do is one of the, um, many of you already know, one of my uh, role models is Pat Benatar, right? And not just because of her music, but her tenacity, her um, whole demeanor, her whole um, self-confidence, the way she holds herself, the way she, um, you know, spoke up for herself with the recording companies and whatnot. So. Sometimes what I say is, what would Pat do? Or what? how would she approach this, right? And how would she, um, you know, and I try to uh, present myself in that manner. So I might not always feel confident, but if I fake it until I make it and I just appear confident, um, you know, it will, it will come off as being confident. And people are attracted to that. People are attracted to people that are confident. So, um, one of the things that you can do is just, um, change the way you're behaving, you know, don't think negatively and, um, you know, present yourself as, as confident. And what does rejection really mean? Um, so I think sometimes we give, um, people that are rejecting us too much credibility, um, there's this story of this boy that uh, found a golden nugget. You know, this little boy found a golden nugget. And he didn't know anything about gold or what it's worth, so he tossed it into the dirt, right? Um, so sometimes people that are rejecting us, they are ignorant or they're, they're na naive. They don't know your worth. They don't understand, right? So, you know, accepting... Um, or thinking that someone's rejection of you is like fact or even something you want to live up to, um, you know, it, it's crazy. So sometimes we are looking for acceptance from people that, um, you know what, we don't really align with or they don't understand us or they don't realize our value. So, you know, don't give, don't give people like that too much credit. Um, they really, really, you know, um, you know, people make poor judgment, judgments all the time. And so just kind of be aware of um, how you're perceiving yourself and how you're portraying yourself, right? 
and um, thinking positive thoughts or, or thinking of how your role model would would um, behave in that manner, not giving other people too much credibility, you know, and just being true to yourself. Um, they have a saying in AA, to thy own self be true. And, you know, as long as I know I'm being um, authentic to myself, my core beliefs and values, then it doesn't really matter what other people are concerned with. I mean, there are some people that I care about, um, you know, my, my close friends and family and whatnot, to a degree, um, but I'm not so fearful of being rejection, um, being rejected. There was another thing I wanted to talk about too. I had my little notes here. <laughs> I really shouldn't be reading while I'm driving, but uh, I don't have time to make videos other than when I'm driving to work. That's pretty bad, huh? Uh, I have a really full life. I love my life, but it's really, really full. Um, but they had a couple examples of um, people that were rejected. So Larry Bird was um, the University of Evansville put out a scouting report on Larry Bird that stated he would never play Division I basketball. We all know who Larry Bird is, right? He's like one of the best players of all time, uh, played for the Celtics for years. So craziness, right? Um, there's also one here about someone, I'm not sure who it was, but um, they, they stated that Harrison Ford would never make it as an actor. Like, really? Because, like, Star Wars wouldn't be the same without him, and Indiana Jones wouldn't be the same without him, uh, without him just to name a few. So, people don't always know your worth. They don't always, you know, have the, the best judgment. So, don't put too much weight on their uh, judgment, their rejection or whatnot. And that's it for me today. I hope you have a great day. Uh, remember to make your gratitude lists. You know, always be grateful for what you have. Um, you know, people always ask for things, but if you're not grateful for what you have, what makes you think you're gonna be grateful or happy with other things, right, that you want? So gratitude lists are so important. Uh, I do mine every morning. I listen to my uh, my meditation music and I do my gratitude list and it really starts my day, puts it on a right, right step. So right uh, path. Anyway, you know where to find me, right? I think you know by now. And if you don't, I'm going to tell you. <laughs> so I got a couple of blogs out there, motivationsforyou.com. That's motivations with an S, the number four, the letter U.com. I'm also on medium.com, so those are two blog websites you can find me at. I have uh, a podcast on Anchor, um, that's under uh, Motivations for You as well. Facebook and Instagram, Recovery Enthusiast, and if that's not enough for you, you want to check out some of my courses, I have um, recoveryenthusiast.com is my website. So check them out, leave me a comment, let me know what you'd like to hear or what you don't like about my videos. I, don't, I can take it, right? <laughs> I would appreciate your feedback. As always, stay blessed and live your life with enthusiasm. Peace, guys. Till next time.